Thank you. Uh, yes, I have uh, been fairly successful in life and in business. Uh, I've had some really good uh, businesses that I've grown and, and sold and I've had some absolute disasters and uh, people call them failures, I call them learning experiences and I have to say that I've learned a lot more from the ones that didn't go so well uh, than I did from the ones that went well. And the ones that didn't go well have uh, held me in good stead. Uh, for building good successful businesses and for helping my clients these days to build good successful businesses for themselves. Um, oh, in the uh, 40 years that I've been working, uh, 20 of those as a CEO, 5 as a CEO coach, uh, I've made a study of success, of what successful people do, what are their attributes, uh, how do they become successful, is it all luck, uh, is it design, is it a mixture of both, are they born? Are they made? And again, it's a mixture of both. Uh, but I've condensed it down into a number of uh, factors. Uh, so of every 100 businesses that start, you'll get two who fly real entrepreneurs, real good businesses that, that actually rock it. Uh, you could probably get 70 of them that uh, over the next 18 months to two years will fade away into nothingness. Uh, and it's the other 28% that we really need to help. It's the 28% that roll along in the middle, bumble along, not really growing, not really going anywhere, not meeting the original aspirations of the people that started it. And that can be for any number of good reasons. It could be a skill set, it could be attitude, it could be a, a number of things that these people haven't got, uh, but they can get. Uh, and that's where I believe that uh, the success of growing an enterprise nation, of growing uh, our business and growing our country through enterprise, that's where we need to be concentrating. What are the secrets of success? Well, I suppose, you know, there are, there are only number of secrets of success, but, but first let's take it for granted that uh, whatever business it is, that it's got a product or a service that people want to buy or need to buy, and that there is a ready marketplace for it. Um, what really are the secrets of success then comes down to people, and it's all about people. First of all, the person who is running the business, who is leading the business, has to have an absolute desire to succeed, a complete and utter desire to succeed. And they need to have that, with all that passion, they need to be able to turn that desire and that passion into an absolute crystal clear vision of where they want to go, what they want to achieve. It has to be where they need to go, because what they will do is they will go out and make it happen. One of the key elements then is they need to have knowledge of their, it may, it may sound obvious, but they need to have knowledge and mastery of the, of the sector they're in, of the business that they're in. Not necessarily the detailed technical knowledge, but they need to be masters of that particular sector, understand how it works, understand what's going on, be looking at the market, making sure that they're driving it in the right place. But then based on that, they need, from that crystal clear vision, they need to set a clear strategy, have an absolute focus on what is successful, what is successful. And then the key element to all success is they need to take action. It's all about action. It's all about taking those actions. All about taking those actions. In all of my studies of successful people, you know, we've got desire, we've got passion, we've got uh, crystal clear vision, we've got a strategy, we've got focus, we're taking action. Um, but the person leading that company um, needs to build a success team. Now they're going to build a success team around them, they're going to build the skills and expertise beneath them in terms of the people they need to grow their business, but they also need an external team, an external success team. All the famous people, sorry, all the really successful entrepreneurs have a success team. They have a group of people external to the business that they can talk to, that they can rely on, who they can trust. Now some of that is in little mastermind groups, sometimes they do it down the pub with other businesses. Um, I prefer to do it in a much more formal way with a group of chief executives. I do that through my chairmanship in Vistage, where a group of chief executives come together once a month to help each other with the problems, help each other with their businesses, and basically to talk about business in general and drive each other forward and help each other to move forward. But you need a success team, however you do it, you need that success team, a peer group, advisory group, a peer advisory group to help you move forward. Somewhere where you can go with people that you can trust who will give no nonsense advice, pragmatic advice and their only reason for doing it is to help you succeed. You don't get that in your business, you don't get that with advisors or consultants, you're only going to get that through a peer group. Yeah. 
So I believe that success team is absolutely key for a successful business. But you need also to be fit. You need to be fit for business. You need to be fit for life. Uh, no doubt to me is if you keep yourself healthy, keep yourself fit, you have a much more active mind, a much more agile mind, a much clearer mind. So keeping your mind fit, keeping your body fit will help you keep your business fit. I think that, again, you find a lot of or most of the uh, really successful people have a fit body, fit mind. And I don't mean a slim and a six pack. I mean that they're healthy. They keep their body healthy and they keep their mind healthy and that helps to keep their business healthy. We take it as a product or a service, we take the desire is there and the vision is there, we take it that the focus is there and action, action led, we take it that they put a success team in place, that they're keeping them fit and they're working hard with doing that. So in the world there are, there are a number of types of people, but it can basically be broken down to, an assert, to assertive or non-assertive, to left brain or right brain. And within those, you've got, you've got four choices. That's the simplest way of looking at it. And each one of us fits in to one of those. We may have bits of the others, but the majority of us will be in one of those quadrants. I only communicate effectively with 25% of the people who have an influence on your business success. Because in your quadrant you like to receive information in a certain way, you like to give information in a certain way. You might like detail in one quadrant, you might like summary in another, you might like action in one, you might like thought in another. So you need to be able to be for success. So the really successful people understand how to communicate in each of those quadrants. They know how to uh, give information to people who can influence their business and how to understand the information that they're given from people who influence their business. And being able to communicate with so many more people uh, that can influence their business means they connect far better. So they connect with the whole company or they connect with the whole customer base or they connect with the whole sets of influencers. Uh, and that connection with that communication and that connection is the key to growing their business because they grow their business through their people. And their people doesn't just mean their staff, it means anybody who can influence their business. It means a supplier, it means a customer, it means a banker, it means an accountant. It means whoever. Really. So that communication and connection is absolutely key. What successful people also do is they work on the business, not in it. And that's where their success team comes in very important. So when they get to the office, they've really turned up. They've not just turned up to get on with the job, they've really turned up. They can look at everything that's going on in their business. They can see the wide picture and then they're very, very good at tuning in to the issues and the actions that are required that day to move them to where they want to be. I call that turn up, tune in. All successful people can turn up and tune in as and when they need to. Normally it's 24-7 for entrepreneurs who are growing and accelerating businesses. You've got the desire, you've got the passion, you've got a crystal clear vision, you've got the strategy, you've got the focus, you're action based. You've got a really good success team and of course we've, got, we've taken that you've got a, a good product or service and a ready market for it. You've learned how to communicate. You're keeping your mind and your body fit to keep your business fit. You're connecting well with people because you understand how they work and how they can influence you. So I call this be fitter for business. You have belief, you have energy, you have focus, you have intention. And one of the most important things that you have in any entrepreneur or any successful business is you have tenacity. You will make it happen. There is no no. No does not become a part of your language. You make sure things happen. You are tenacious about making things happen. And finally, the A is action-based. So B-E-F-I-T-A. Be fitter for business. Belief, energy, focus, tension, tenacity, action. When you've got all that, and you're a good listener within your communication skills. So you listen and you learn, you'll be fitter for business. Then you'll find that you will naturally lead. You will find then with that focus, with that vision, with all of the attributes, you can lead your business. But there's one critical element that every successful business person has that sets them out again from everybody else and that is that they base everything they do in reality. Not some fictitious story of the future, not some if we do this and if we do that and what happens here and what happens there and what about that and what about that. This is a risk, that's a risk, no. What they do is they say, where are we now? What is absolute reality today? 
Where do I want to be? Okay, how do I make that happen? So they find out where they are, they know where they are, so they know where they are, they know where they want to be, and they go out and make it happen. So they be fitter for, they can be fitter for business, they base everything in reality, and then they go and make it happen. A successful business leader, having all of those attributes, some you're born with, some you learn, some only come through experience and expertise. But building those and concentrating on those are the keys to success. Thanks for your time today. Thank you.